guys welcome back to my channel I know I haven't posted in a while um, I've had a lot going on lots of big news coming so definitely stay tuned for that hope you are all doing well and staying safe during this insane time but anyway today's video is about hair don't mind the squeaking it's my chair if you guys have seen a lot of my videos you know it's my chair um, but anyway, today I'm partnering with Hot Tools. I love Hot Tools. They have such great products and they're very reliable. And I've owned a lot of their Hot Tools for, I've owned a lot of Hot Tools Hot Tools um, for a very long time. And they just like, they live for years and years and years. They're, they're awesome. Um, so they sent me two items and I'm going to do kind of a breakdown of both in two separate videos and kind of put them into this one. Um, so we will be doing two different hairstyles in this one video filmed over two separate days, if that makes any sense. One is kind of like a blowout blow dryer brush and the other one is just kind of like a hot brush. The one I used on my hair today was the hot brush and I am, I think I really do like the hot brushes more than the hot air drying brushes. Um, just cause I feel like I have more control and I don't know, it's just personal preference, but the other one is very comparable to the Revlon, um, but I will say that I do like Hot Tools better. Um, that is just my opinion. I do think you guys should really check it out as an alternative to the Revlon. Um, not giving any hate to Revlon at all. I've used their brush forever um, and it's a great brush, but I do personally like this Hot Tools brush better better both of these brushes are through their signature series so um i will link everything down below you guys can go check it out but this one brush is called the ultimate heated brush styler fast easy and styles on dry hair so this brush you're using on dry hair which i did so i blow dried my hair like a rough dry with all my products in it brushed it through and then i started using this so this is what it looks sorry my hair is in there this is what it looks like it's a little thinner a little smaller than the air drying brushes but um it's awesome for styling and it doesn't have to be on wet hair or well, it shouldn't be on wet hair. So that is what this one looks like, the on button. And then the bottom, you kind of just twist a certain way if you want to raise or lower the temperature. So the box is what it looks like. It comes with a glove, protect your hand. Um, I feel like with these tools, it's very hard to burn yourself just because they have such a good hand guider on top. Um, all the knockoffs you see, they flatten a lot, so it's really difficult. Um, but yeah, it comes with a glove, and it goes up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, which was very hot. You don't need any hotter than that. You can even go lower. You really don't need to use the highest heat. It really just depends on your hair. It is clearly an oval design, which you can either kind of do a straight look, a kind of curled end look, which I love doing. So it's really just... The kind of look you want to go for lots of volume love that you know that's my favorite thing in the world um reduces frizz frizz reduces frizz i cannot talk um add shine great for second day hair it automatically shuts off in an hour fast heat up it literally heated up so quick like i did not have to wait great for travel comes with a glove provides even heat distribution and adds healthy looking shine i totally agree with that this is like, look how voluminous this is. But hi, like what's going on? See how shiny it is? It looks awesome. And like lots of volume, curled ends. You can honestly just kind of go this way and straight down if you want more of a straight look. Still gives you so much volume. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, definitely keep watching. I will also include the second hot tool as well, which looks like this. Guys, don't mind my nails. Um, <laughs> Have to get them done so there is one thing that i want to point out about these hot hair tools um the reason why i love the non-blow drying one is because they are so easy to touch up your hair so if you sleep on it or if you accidentally get something wet and it gets frizzy you can literally just do the ends and it just brings it right back to how it looked when you first did it like that these are my favorite like staple products for sure so keep that in mind when you're watching the video
like a lion. Okay, so we're back obviously on another day. Um, again, I figured I would just put both of these hairstyling tools into one video so you could see both. Um, I got out of the shower. It's kind of like air dried now. It's actually the perfect dampness to use the Hot Tool Signature Series like one step dryer. Um, so the first one was on dry hair and this one's like bigger and it looks like this. So this head actually comes off if you need to. Uh, that is what it looks like. And then all of the switches are here. So off, cool, low, and high. Looks like that is what it sounds like. So you just turn the bottom to whatever. That's high. That's low. Cool. And off. So first time using this guy. I have already prepped and brushed my hair. So I used my wet brush as well as the... Pep Rally, sorry, Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler by Dry Bar. And then I have the Numi Blah to Bouncy Blow Dry Cream. I always use this when I'm using like a blow drying hot tool. I'm all prepped. I'm gonna clip my hair into sections and we're gonna start. Not sure if I'm gonna fast forward through this. I'm not sure if you guys wanna hear the noise the whole time. So I might fast forward, might mute it. I'm not sure, but I will show you guys exactly how I do it. I do. Let's just do that first. I just like to start with the bangs because I hate how they're just like frizzy as I'm doing the rest of my hair. It's just a me thing. Um, but yeah, however you guys want. My bangs in the front here are a little short just from breakage. I always pull on my bangs when I'm nervous. So the short pieces just feel like sticking up right now. The bang is gonna eventually just do its own thing. So we'll ignore that, but you can guys can just see how much volume this has and you can kind of wave it in whatever direction you want the rest of the hair. So I'm just gonna put this into one section to kind of get it out of the way. Then I have my clip for this side, so. Take one section by section and then I clip it up. is the cutest oh my god I'm not a huge spray um, hairspray person unless I'm adding volume to my hair I don't like spraying the curls to hold the curl um, my hair normally stays pretty well um, I just hate adding extra product that I don't need and it being a di different texture other than clean um, so that's why I don't set the curls after Side of the hair, so like underneath and on top, just so that I'm ensuring that it's all getting dry.
pretty quick. Like I only have this much left on this side. So I am going slower because I've been building furniture in my new place and my arms are just so sore. So if you see me going slow, that's why. So it's quicker for you guys, but I'll show you the rest of this side. school in cosmetology class I would always kind of flip my hair out like this like way more drastic because I was just ridiculous but um my cosmetology teacher told me I look like Farrah Fawcett or I think that's who she said because I guess she had her hair always like that but I love it so much I love when it does that I just think it blends so nicely <laughs> See, a lot of you guys have been asking in my previous videos about like tools like this um, if your roots get dry and because you're getting so close to it and there's air constantly blowing out of here your roots end up being dried and they're not frizzy as you can tell and like obviously go as close as possible to the roots as you can but yeah for the most part they're dry and like I, it's never been an issue okay so I'm gonna fast forward to this side and show you guys the end result. super smooth I'll show you the back you guys can see you guys can see that yeah that's it I'm not going to keep it as a middle part just because um I don't think I suit the middle part 
corn. But, um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. You can do it so many ways that, you know, when I was going down like this, you can just keep going straight down and then that way it kind of curves in and it's just more of a straight look. Um, I like a little bit of wave to mine, just volume wise and I don't know, I just, that's how I always do it. But this is, ignore my little tiny bangs, but this is what it looks like. I'm so happy with it. And it's so soft and so smooth. So anyway, thank you so much to Hot Tools. You guys are awesome. These are definitely my go-to tools now because um, I'm kind of like the rebel. Okay, hi. We got to straighten this guy. Um, I'm going to do another video um, kind of comparing the Revlon and the Hot Tools one-step dryers um, and tell you guys my favorite and why. So... All I can say right now is I'm obsessed with this one and I love it. And yeah, so stay tuned for that video. And thank you so much to Hot Tools for sending over these two awesome hot tools. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,